Hey guys, the project for this chapter is going to be a little different. Um, we're actually going to build a plugin for WordPress, uh, which is obviously it's one of the top blog platforms or CMS, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what we're going to do is build a plugin slash widget, and it's going to basically be a contact form that we can put on the sidebar or wherever the template has uh, positions for widgets. All right. So we're going to use PHP, obviously, because that's what's what WordPress is, is built with. Um, but we're also going to use jQuery and Ajax to um, to process the form. We'll ultimately use PHP to send the email, but we're going to um, make our posts and, and stuff through Ajax, through jQuery and Ajax. All right, so the first thing we want to do is install WordPress, and that's what we're going to do in this video. All right. Um, if you want to um, learn more about building plugins and widgets, I'd suggest going to um, codex.wordpress.org/writingaplugin, and it has a lot of the steps that we'll be doing today, uh, and also um, slash widgets API if you want to um, learn more about building widgets. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download WordPress from WordPress.org. The, the current version right now is 3.9.1. All right, so we need to uh, install this on our server. Um, I'm using XAMPP. So what I want to do is create a database. So we're going to go to phpMyAdmin. And databases and uh, basically we're just going to have a default WordPress installation and then we're just going to add our plugin I'm not going to go through and create articles or um, uh, menu items or, or things like that because that's not really what this course is it's not a WordPress course uh, we do have WordPress courses available at eduonics.com if you want to check those out but basically we're going to be focusing on building the, the PHP plugin um, and I'm just going to call the site New Tech. All right, I don't know why I just thought of that. Uh, basically, I guess it would be a, um, a site for for a, a data company or PC repair or something like that. Um, but that's just something I thought of. It doesn't really matter what the site is. What matters is the plugin. Um, so we have a um, an empty database called New Tech. All right. So now I'm going to go to my htdocs folder, which is my server. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that new tech. And what we want to do is bring over our WordPress uh, download. So you want to open the zip file. Um, and then we're just going to grab everything that's in there and bring it over to the new tech folder. All right, so after we transfer everything over, what we want to do is open up this, uh, where is it, WP config sample. Uh, but before we open it, we just got to change the name. So we just want to get rid of this dash sample. So it should just be WP config .php. All right, and then we can open that up. And this is where we put our database parameters. Okay, so DB name is the first one. So we named it new tech um, DB user. In my case, it's root, not toot, <laughs> root. And then the password, put in my simple password here. And localhost is good. Um, so this here, uh, these, these keys and salts, uh, just for added security uh, and you can you can make this uh, absolutely anything but there's actually a generator we can grab uh, we'll say WordPress um, key generator okay so it's this api.wordpress.org slash secret key 1.1 at this time slash salt and we can just grab all of this and you don't need to do this, but it's just, uh, uh, I always do it, it's just added security. Uh, so we'll paste that in, so that's good. Down here, another security issue uh, is the prefix. 
hackers know that the default prefix is WP uh, so you may want to change that I'm just gonna leave it because this we don't really need to do that but um, if it's a production site I'd suggest, suggest changing this all right so I'm gonna save that all right now what we want to do is go to localhost slash uh, new tech and this will take us through the installation process okay site title uh, username just say admin password okay email okay um, if this is a production site you most likely want to keep this checked to allow search engines to index the site I'm gonna uncheck it because this site's pretty much gonna just be deleted after um, and obviously it's not live okay install WordPress okay success now we can go ahead and log in okay so here's our back end and if we want to visit the front end make sure everything's good okay so this is the 2014 I think temp default template and we're just gonna keep this template um, and then we're gonna make create our plugin and the widget will go right here on the sidebar alright so we will get to do that next